We're going on a trip later on this year, and I'm not taking my computer with me. But I still may want to record audio using my little Olympus recorder. And getting the files from that micro SD card in the Olympus recorder to my iPad is not easy. Impossible? No. Let me show you how I do it. Hi, this is Bill Booz, and this is Photography and Technology Tools. One of my tips for a recent video updates episode was on getting files from an external recorder that's recorded onto a SD card or a micro SD card onto an iOS device. In this case, it's going to be my iPad. On this trip, I am going to take my iPad, though I'm not taking the computer. And I'm also taking uh, my Western Digital My Passport Wi-Fi hard drive, the new Pro version. Um, and it has a, uh, an, a USB port on it as well as an SD card port. And so this video that's coming up will show you how I was able to do that. You get, therefore, audio that's been recorded externally onto my iPad so that I can use it in LumaFusion when I'm editing uh, the video I've recorded. Our goal here is to get audio files that have been recorded on this Olympus recorder onto my SanDisk iExpand drive so that I can put them into LumaFusion. What I'm going to do is remove the micro SD card from inside the recorder and usually when you buy one of these cards you get a carrier an SD, SD card size carrier so I'm going to take that out insert the card into the bottom slot and I have a WD drive it's not plugged in, it's all charged up it has a SD card slot so I'm going to put the SD card in there. I'm going to put the USB part of my iExpand into the USB port here. I can transfer the files from the card directly to the iExpand uh, USB flash drive. So I go to settings, I go to Wi-Fi, and I make sure that I'm connected to my passport. So I close that. And now I go to the My Cloud app, and it's not showing where the SD card. So what I'm going to do is exit the program, double click, swish it away. And this will cause when I when I um, start My Cloud again, this will cause it to survey to see what's connected to it. So now when we look at the menu, we have the flash drive the iExpand drive, we have the SD card, and then we have the storage that's on the hard drive itself. So what I want to do is get things from this card. So I'm going to click on the card, go into Recorder, Folder A. I want to, I want to uh, copy, let's say, these first three files. So that's 44, 51, and 52. Uh, so I go to the menu, choose Select, choose those three files and another menu pops up that allows me to copy or move files. Well, I want to leave them on the recorder, so I'm going to copy them. And I want to copy them to devices that are attached to My Passport, or I could copy it right to the My Passport. So if I want to copy it to the storage on the My Passport drive, and I have a folder called Audio Files that I set up ahead of time, and I just say Paste. So now if I go back, back, back to where it shows me the hard drive, the SD card, and the flash drive, if I go into storage, which is the hard drive, go into audio files, and there they are, 44, 51, and 52. So it copied them. Now I could then copy these to the flash drive, or I could just use the hard drive to transfer the files from the card to the flash drive. So let's go back to this menu here and I go to SD card again. I go to recorder, go to folder A, and I'm going to choose, I'm going to go to 
the menu to select the select choice and choose the first three mp3 files and I want to copy them go to my passport and I want to transfer them to this flash drive let's see if they're on the flash drive so flash drive there's that folder we just created audio files and there are the three files so now I need to eject the iExpand drive I'm going to just take this, plug in the lightning port, lightning end of the drive. I'm going to allow iExpand drive access to my view files that are on the iExpand drive. Audio, there they are. They're in the three files. So this is the smallest one. So I'm going to select this one, and I want to then I click on more options. And I can send it to, if I were connected to the internet, I could send it to Box, or I could send it to um, uh, Dropbox. But what I want to do is send it to LumaFusion. So LumaFusion will launch, and now it's playing. So I could use that in one of my projects in LumaFusion. So hopefully that was helpful to you. And I appreciate your checking in on this uh, Photography and Technology Tools episode. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. -bye.